So let me clarify this. Are y'all telling us that if you are not related to us, if you are not dating us, if you're not having some sort of physical relationship to us, if you don't find us attractive, if you don't find us polite enough, kind enough, quiet enough, that our lives are not worth protecting? Is that what you're telling us? Is that the precedent you're setting? Yes. I don't need a man. I'm a strong, independent woman. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another one. Hit that like on your way in, tickle that notification bell that will let you know whenever I upload content. You know what we're gonna do. Yep. Roll that clip. So I had to make a TikTok about this, y'all. Me and my girlfriend went out last night for drinks at a bar in Dallas. And I just wanna say like, what happened? What happened with the sugar? You see that bar? You see the bar full of men sitting down? Look at him! Look! Look! Literally just watching women in heels stand up. Like, what happened to the men? Like, I'm so not used to this and I never will be. See, women have to understand that men are not obligated to protect you. No. We're not obligated to do anything for you. We're not obligated to provide for you. But we do it anyway if the risk doesn't outweigh the reward. But in these cases with westernized women, the risk always outweighs the reward there is no benefit in taking care of or even entertaining westernized modern women and now for some rapid fire facts number one the reason why women are no longer approached thank me too the Me Too movement in and of itself was a movement designed to raise awareness on women, the plight of women, the struggles of women, the, the essay of women, much like the feminist movement. But you have to realize is that the feminist movement and the Me Too movement are about destruction of the family. He ain't lying. Why do you think if you've ever been to the doctor, they ask you, are you okay? Are you safe at home? And I was on Twitter today and I ran across a post where women were talking about things and they were uncomfortable. You know, the same women that want to say, pay attention to what we're saying when we say all men are no men. When you say all men till there's no man. Well, women are also saying that they're being harassed at the hospital. They're being harassed at work and constantly being asked if they're okay. Why is that? Because I believe the majority of feminists and the Me Too movement and any movement that decenters men also decenters family. You cannot have family without men. He ain't lying. You cannot have children without men. You cannot have anything without men. Men, so you are going to decenter men and focus on you when if it wasn't for men, you wouldn't have what you have now. Got him. We fucking got him. 
The second reason why men really aren't approaching women anymore. Chivalry is dead and women killed it. Women are selfish. Women are mean. Women are crude. Women are rude. Women will talk about you like you're their worst enemy. But then at the same time, they'll ask you to do X, Y, and Z. They'll ask you to pay their rent, pay their bills, pay their car note, take them out to eat. And what do you bring to the table for all of that? Your butterball butt. God damn! And BBD said, never trust a big butt and a smile. So I'm going to listen to them over listening to a modernized Western woman. Women are so quick to throw a man under the bus, to make fun of him, to ridicule him, get him fired from his job, all because they don't like what the man is saying. See, women are leading cancel culture. Women will destroy your life. They will get you fired from work all over the internet. Whatever you say on the internet is constantly scrutinized by women. And then the same women that scrutinize men want those men to approach you in public, to get your number, to take you out. And we're here to tell you it's not worth it. The last and final reason why modern women are not getting approached today is because literally all of you are butterball naked on the internet. Let's be real. If you go on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, or any other website, women are showing everything they got and leaving nothing to minister. So you're back, y'all remember back in the day, fellas, when you had to earn the pictures that are being posted on OnlyFans. Y'all remember that? You had to get on your phone and you had to put in work. You had to put in time, effort, tank around on dates, wine and dine. And then when you got it, you treasured it, you camped it. Nobody else saw it. And then you would tell your boys about it, but it was something that was almost sacred. Now, women have taken a sacred thing and perverted it. Now, you leave nothing to mystery. You, you, there is, everybody knows what you look like. So there's no mystery. There is no adventure. There's no nothing. And then women will justify doing OnlyFans for whatever reason just because they're women. And that's, last but not least, we're just tired of Western women. We're fed up. I know I say this a lot in my videos, but I'm going to keep saying it because it's the truth. We're tired. So why are we going to protect someone that doesn't even protect themselves? They go out, they put themselves in situations, and then they want a man to get it out, to get them out. No. You can take care of yourself. You can be an independent woman, and you can be by yourself. Since you want to be independent, an independent woman, why do you need a man? You're independent. But we know why you need a man, but you just don't want to admit it. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Hit that like, subscribe, tickle that notification bell, and I will let you know when I upload. And until the next one, peace. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man?